Okay, welcome back. Um, for this tutorial, this this, um, this next lesson, we're going to look at how to create a um, finger joint box um, using 2D Design but outputting onto the laser cutter. Um, for this, we're going to use um, MDF to create our box, um, and it's going to be six millimeters thick. At the moment, in 2D Design, I've set up this page, or rather, I've I've opened this page, and it defaults to a a 10 millimeter grid and the page size is A3 which is not what we want so first of all you're limited to a, um, a box that's going to fit on um, A5 material um, so it's going to be this big so in order for us to, um, to see that we're going to go to setup first of all and then go to drawing layout and we're going to choose here we're going to choose A5 as you can see standard size and we're going to choose A5 it doesn't matter whether it's portrait or landscape, but for this we're going to leave it on landscape. And I click OK. Now at the moment, although the spaces have um, look like they've increased, they are still 10 millimeters. We need the grid to be 6 millimeters. So I double click on the grid, just here, and I get this um, this box that appears, this little flyout box. I can move around, um, and we are going to make that. 6 by 6. Now some of you may prefer rather than having dots to have lines like so. So you're working on a um, almost like um, a graph or a, a squared paper. For this though what I'd rather use um, I just find it easier. Again it's up to you. I'm going to stick with um, using dots. And I click OK. So I've got my dots there. So for for this um, for the box, we need to um, start off with a box lid. So first of all, rather than it being on step lock, I'm going to click on grid lock, and this means that anything I draw locks to these lines. So remember, you've only got um, an A5 sheet of material, so it's all got to fit on this. That's the box with the lid, the base, and four sides. So first of all, I'm going to draw a square. Now if you look down at the bottom, we've got ABS, we've got REL, and we've got distance. If we look at the middle option where it says REL, um, at the moment um, my box is 60, 66 wide um, by 60 deep. I'm just going to make that 66 by 66. don't think if I did it 72 by 72 it would fit. Um, so I'll leave it like that. So I've got my box lid. We can change the colour of this because at the moment it's black and that's no good for the laser cutter. Um, we can change that to red. Click OK. So there we go. That's the box lid. Now the box needs four sides. Now the four sides should be the same, um, same width as our box lid. So, I'm going to start by drawing the side of the box. I don't mind how, um, or rather, I don't, I don't, it doesn't matter how um, deep the box is, but remember it's got to fit on this A5 sheet of paper. So, I'm going to stick with, um, if we go one, two, three, four, five, six deep, um, so it's 36, and I click. So I've got one of the sides done. But it's not a finger joint box at the moment. What it would be would be a, a butt jointed box with everything um, butted and glued together. We don't want that. We, as I said, we're going to create a finger joint box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line down here, and a line down here. I'm going to split these into thirds. So I'm going to get rid of that line and that line. Oh, just um, I've moved from delete any, del any to the second one. 
if you click on Dell any it'll just delete the whole thing so I'll click on on this one Dell Dell part of an object and I can now click and remove the lines I don't want so on this side it's going to have a sticky out bit and on this end it's going to have a, um, a sticky in bit like so now if I create four of these then they will all go together so I'm going to grab this one and I'm going to move it to the top up here like so I'm just going to change it to red because I'm going to copy and paste these so color red click OK and then I'm going to go to edit copy edit paste and now I've got two lines here I don't want two lines, I only need one otherwise it will cut around cut around the shape and it will cut across there and it will cut across again um, and that could um, could mean that the uh, the wood starts to burn so just going to click on that, nothing's happened or it doesn't look like anything's happened but it has removed one of these lines so again I select this, a quick way of copying Control C and then Control V and I can paste that underneath still just fitting on I'll move it around once I get rid of the grid um, in a few seconds so again I've got two lines there I don't want that click on this delete and get rid of that line so I've got my sides one two three four I've got the um, the lid like so. Um, now all I need is the um, is the base. Now with the lid it's the same width so the lid will sit on top. I'll just draw a little picture. Don't, please don't, don't draw this but I've got the lid of the box. Once I assemble the sides it will look something like so. So as you can see the lid fits on top of each of the sides. The base will fit inside the box like so rather than sitting like that. The base will sit like so. So the base needs to be smaller smaller than, um, than the lid. Ideally it needs to be six millimeters round each side. The easiest way of doing this would be to click here and draw another square. As you can see, if we pretend that these are all sides, that would fit inside. So again, there's my base. I can move that out of the way. Colour it in red. Now for the final bit, um, the lid needs to um, would just um, sort of um, fall off or, 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 or flop about if um, if it was like this it would be loose um, we want it to be um, quite a tight fit attached to the box now the easiest way of doing this would be to create another one of these another base and put it underneath let me show you what I mean if I create this here lid would sit inside the box. Easiest way of doing this again, well the easiest way would be to click on this, copy and paste it, control C, control V and that would give me this shape. Now I've lost quite a bit of room by putting the, um, the base in and the, um, the lid like so, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this hollow So again, I draw another rectangle inside. So it will only cut out this edge and it will leave me a gap in the top. I just need to set that to red. Now it's up to you what's, what kind of finger joints you do. Um, there's nothing stopping you um, doing, if, I'll just show you, give you an example. 
we have one of the sides. You could do a little six millimeter joints like so. And then opposite on this end, um, like we've got here, and that will all fit together. Or it's entirely up to you. You could have an experiment, have a look at dovetail joints or, or other methods of joining it. Um, what we don't want, what we want to get away from with this exercise, is is using butt joints. Um, we want to be a little bit more more imaginative, a little bit more um, more creative. So there we go. I've got all the um, all the shapes. All, um, I've got my lid. I've got my four sides. I've got the um, the base, and I've got the fit the bit. Um, that fits, that makes sure the lid stays in place. We need some designs. Now for, you, for what I would like you to do, or what, what I think the best option would be, is if we um, do some pen and ink drawing, or we create a, a, um, a design, um, we can scan that into the computer, and then we can bring it straight into 2D design, and we can either make a pattern, or we can fill the entire box lid with your chosen design. Um, for speed, um, for this particular exercise, rather than um, going through the, um, the scanning in process, that will be another tutorial where I show you how to work the scanner. Um, I'm just going to go to Google and, and, and get a piece of clip art just to show you what I'm, what I'm talking about. So I'm going to click on Google at the bottom and I'm just going to choose a nice sun design. So a sun and we'll have um, a wood cut effect. Woodcuts are generally black and white, that's why I've chosen woodcut. If I had just typed in sun I would have got all sorts of different images, but I search on that and I'm going to search on images. So as you can see we've got all sorts of um, of different graphics. Um, we can choose what whichever um, image we like, but ideally it needs to be um, black and white or as light as possible um, and black. Um, for example, this one, um, we've got would have lots of um, it turns everything to grayscale. So we'd have lots of grays, and some of it may not work. Um, the same as with this one, you've got gray in the background, and it might be a little bit, it might confuse the laser cutter a little bit. I'm going to choose this one down at the bottom. Um, it's fairly light. I mean, it's still a little bit of um, a little bit sort of um, a skin color, but I'm going to choose this one. But it's the it's nice thick dark black edges. So I click on it so I can see the um, full size and I click on save. No, I'm not going to save the image this time. I'm going to right up. Oh. No. Sorry. I'm going to right click, um, copy the image back into 2D design, <laughs> which is not that, it's that. And I'm going to click on edit and paste and it pastes it in place it's in the middle of the screen. I'm then going to drag this and scale it up. Again this, this is going to snap to the grid which is what we want. Oh, this one's been quite awkward. There we go. So I've got the, uh, the sun inside the box lid. Um, it looks like it's hanging over the over the edge. It will still cut out, but just um, for reassurance purposes, really, I click on the sun, I go to edit, and I go to where it is it arrange, and I want to put this to back. So as you can see, it's going to first of all with a laser cutter, it will etch picture of the sun and then it will cut out all the red lines. I'm just going to remove the grid, just click on the windscreen wiper just to redraw it and just if I select everything by pressing the control key and A for control all, let's move that. As you can see I've not, 
I've still got some space down here, but I've, um, I've still got plenty of room. So that's the 2D design, that's the creating bit. We then need to go to File and Print. And we're going to choose the um, laser cutter, select Properties. Now with this, although I'm going to make it out of wood, I want to make it out of MDF, um, because I'm doing an engraving, and I want a nice deep engrave, I'm going to choose plastic, and I'm going to go to deep engrave. The material is set to 6mm, that's, that's fine. Um, I can up the raster, which basically means it will, um, the, the laser beam will be more in, intense when it's doing the, um, doing the black. Um, and I can up the cutting and I can up the, um, the vector marking. Again, just makes um, each one more intense. I'm going to leave all these on zero, um, but by all means experiment and see which, uh, which you find um, works best for you and your drawing. So I'll click OK. Click OK again. Then I need to go and find the laser cutter software, which is here. As you can see, it's brought up the control panel and it's getting ready to etch. So it's going to, as I say, it's going to do the, um, the sun first and then it will do the red. Now I've not got the laser cutter connected. That's going to be a, a, um, the next tutorial where I show you um, the box being cut out and then how we're going to glue it all together. Um, but what you would do, once you're happy with it, you would click on the play button, which would be green, and that will allow you, that will make the box, or get the, get the box cut out. But that's it for this time, so um, tune in for the next one, um, where we assemble the box. Thank you very much for watching, good luck.